Hello, I'm Michael Tsenkota and welcome to our session on thoughts on international business, marketing and strategy. We're here at Georgetown University where I serve as a professor of international business and we are joined today by a guest from Europe, from Germany in specific, and his name is Andreas Pinkwart. Uh, let me say a few words about our guest beforehand. I, I think he's, he's in some ways much more American than German because he follows the American model where, where we easily transition between business and academia and politics. But in Europe, that's not quite that common. But uh, he has certainly managed that. Um, he has been the German uh, Minister of Science, Innovation, Research and Technology. And he was the only one of that title in, in Germany. He has also been the Deputy Chairman of the Federal uh, Free Democratic Party, the FDP. And he has, of course, been uh, a member of parliament as well. Uh, but before that, he was a banker. Uh, that was before banking was uncool. <laughs> and, and then he became a professor of business at uh, the University of Siegen. And now that he has left his position as minister, he is getting ready to assume the position of president of the Handelshochschule Leipzig. That is the business school uh, of a very great reputation in Leipzig, Germany. But we are able to catch him in between in transition. So welcome, Professor Pinkwart. Thank you so much for inviting me here. Um, we are going to do two sessions with Professor Pinkwart today, actually. One of them will focus on macro issues and the other one on micro issues. So let me dive immediately into the macro issues. Uh, Professor Pinkwart, you were the only German minister with that kind of title yeah. of innovation. Yeah. Uh, how, how did you manage that and, and how did that come about? Yes, a deeper sense is that we have to make a circulation. Uh, what is education? Education is a transfer from money to new knowledge. And what is innovation? Innovation is the other way around, to make with, uh, from new research-based knowledge money. And if the world will go around and if we will have a better future for our countries, it's so necessary to have best education, best research, sciences, but you need also the way back to get not enough money to pay for all this education, science and research. And therefore, you need innovation in our countries. And that's what we implemented in North and Westphalia together with our universities, research institutes and the business, the companies in our state. Excellent. Uh, now, what were your key goals while in office? What, what did you try and what did you succeed in implementing as Minister of Innovation? Yes, I think uh, if you want to innovate, you need people. People, entrepreneurial thinking people uh, with self-responsibility. And you need them in the public sector, you need them in the universities and research centers as well as in the companies. And uh, uh, what I did is we, we changed the law we gave our universities uh, more autonomy and we gave them also more money uh, to be uh, the best in uh, science and research, to uh, come to the top positions internationally and then to give incentives to transfer this best know-how to the companies, to work together with them in laboratories on the campus, to uh, support uh, a startup. Uh, um, the foundings of uh, young companies to bring the new ideas, the new research to the market. Excellent. Now, now you are a big proponent of networks and building networks. And as you just mentioned, the linkage between business and academia, what, what do you see as the most important networks there? Yes, most important is that we have uh, um, a good in, intensive um, uh, connection between the universities and research institutions of one side and the companies of the other sides. And not only for the big companies, but uh, especially for the small and medium-sized companies. You know maybe that in Germany the so-called Mittelstand is very important for the working places and the innovative power of our 
country. So it's very important also to bridge uh, these uh, connections between university and the small and medium-sized companies too. Now from your vantage point, things like science and technology, are they still important for a country's position today? Or is that overcome by services? Maybe science and technology is more for emerging nations like China. I think um, uh, you, you will be uh, only successful uh, in growth and employment if you have both. You need uh, um, custom oriented services, but you need also innovative products. And I think good companies are these companies who bring both together a complementary supply of products and services. Now let me, let me just briefly go into the political realm. Uh, Chancellor Merkel has been reported to be talking about integration and that yeah. it was not very successful in Germany. From your vantage point as a scientist, how important is integration to Germany to absorb scholars from other countries or to send Germans abroad? How, how yeah. do you see that? At first, I will say that Germany is a very uh, world uh, open and tolerant uh, country. And it's uh, uh, HHL, uh, uh, the uh, International Business School in Leipzig, we have 40% of our students from abroad. It's a very high percentage. And, and you see that the people uh, like to live in Germany. And that's what we want, to be open for um, uh, different cultures, to be open for foreigners. Uh, and on the other side, we have to do more for the immigrants that they get better education chances in our country and uh, to have it easier for their own career. All right. Uh, le let me ask you then, as you look down the road for Germany, Euro, the Euro and the European Union over the next 20 years, how do you see that role changing? Is it going to be the same, more firm or less active? I think that uh, as the European uh, idea, it's a great idea. It, uh, it, it's, a, it's a very successful vision we have. Uh, and the common currency, I think it's, it's something like uh, an insurance uh, also for our country. And I, I'm, I'm sure the financial crisis would have been uh, more critical for our country if we hadn't the euro. And, and so we have to do more for better regulation and uh, better uh, um, understanding uh, in Europe uh, uh, to, to modernize the bureaucracy and to strengthen uh, the uh, common uh, currency. Well, let me wrap up then with a heart-to-heart -heart quick question. What do you miss most of politics? Uh, I'm uh, now on the way to the academia, but uh, I will still be interested in political questions. And so I really uh, won't miss it because I think uh, uh, in this, uh, uh, or I, I will be in future also uh, a, a political animal. Excellent, <laughs> excellent. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you for looking at our thoughts on international business, marketing, and strategy. I'm Michael Tsenkota. Hope to see you next time.